Do you find decision making stressful? Does it overwhelm you or exhaust you? You know, we make thousands of decisions every day, many seemingly small and insignificant, but some very weighty and even life changing. If you find it difficult or even dreadful to have to make one more decision, I'm excited to share with you today about the next right thing. Hey friends, I'm Jeremiah Porter, host of Project Lighthouse. I'd love to have you join us here. To do so, click the subscribe button and the little bell to be notified as soon as we post new videos. The Next Right Thing is a weekly podcast by Emily P. Freeman, a Wall Street Journal best-selling author. In her weekly podcast, she offers guidance for making major life decisions that sometimes have us frozen in fear. Her emphasis on simply doing the next right thing has brought freedom to many listeners, including me. A couple years ago, my family and I found ourselves in a major life transition. My six-year ministry as lead pastor of a church had come to an end, and we were faced with major decisions about where to go next. We knew we needed to leave our small town to pastor somewhere else, but where? We knew God still wanted us in pastoral ministry and would lead us to a new church, but when? We knew we needed to get in contact with searching churches, but how? At one point, we were in conversation with three different churches at the same time. Which one were we supposed to proceed with? And what about our kids? How will they do leaving their friends in familiar places? Will they be okay? Will they make new friends quickly? Will they embrace a new place and a new church? You know, I tend to get overwhelmed in decision making when I realize how far we are from getting to the end result of the decision. Think about moving. You have your next home secured and now is the time to make the move. Cool, right? But then you look around and are quickly overwhelmed at the thought of getting a house full of stuff packed and loaded into a U-Haul truck. The task might seem so big that at first you make zero progress because you are disabled by anxiety. How do you get an entire house packed up, loaded up, unloaded, and unpacked? Well, as Freeman continually emphasizes, you begin by taking the next right step. That's actually all you can do and all you need to do. The only way to complete a move across town or across the country is to pack the first box, then the next box, and then the rest of them one box at a time. What big life decisions are you facing today? What important tasks have you overwhelmed or frozen in fear about whether you will ever be able to pull it off? We have a saying in our household, stop freaking out and figure it out. Stop freaking out and figure out what your next right step is. That's what you need to do and really all you can do. You can't get to step three, four, or the final step without taking the first step and each right step after that. So I want to encourage you to check out Emily P. Freeman's weekly podcast, The Next Right Thing. I also want to encourage you that if you have not yet done so, a personal surrender to trust and follow Jesus will remain your first and most important next right thing. If you have not yet put your trust in Jesus Christ, I would love to help you do that. Perhaps you have some questions you need answered before you're ready to give your life to Jesus. Or maybe you're ready to do that now. I'd love to chat with you and help you make this most important life decision that you will ever make. Email me by clicking the link in the description below, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. If you would like to learn more about how God helps us in our struggles in life, check out a series I preached based on the Psalms titled, What Works When Life Doesn't? I love you. Jesus loves you. I'll see you next time.